Good evening, um, everyone. This is my version of the European Championships. Uh, the racing kicked off this morning. Look, the boys are absolutely flying it. They're doing great. Um, came second there to the Lithuanian double this morning in the heat. I think they're only going to get warmed up and they're only learning how to race together. So it's phenomenal. Uh, our girls did great today as well, coming in second in their heat. So everyone, everyone's doing really, really well. Fintan McCarthy's through into his his next round tomorrow, winning his repassage. So look, the Irish team are starting to come on step by step, and it's great to see it. It's obviously very difficult being at home and watching the racing going ahead. Uh, I, it's it's never nice not to be there. I suppose where I take comfort and where I take sorrow at the same time is the fact that I'm not there not because I'm not good enough. I'm not there because I'm finishing out these eight months of of medicine that just need to be done before the next Olympics come around. The the sorrow is that. I suppose my life completely stopped and changed because of this virus and I had to go back to medicine because I ran out of time to get my first year done and it was lovely at the start and it was brilliant because everyone was doing nothing and I was doing nothing but now I'm now I'm not back nor back and everyone else is back and that's actually quite difficult to deal with so my version of the European Championships will be in this garage over the weekend. Ronan and Dara did a 6.22 this morning, which was, was class. Um, uh, and it's great. Look forward to seeing what they're going to do tomorrow in the semi-final. Uh, straight through. So best luck to him and Dara and the, the big, strong girls, uh, who no doubt will, will have a fine show in this weekend as well. <laughs> So I decided to come down and watch the boys at the Mariscal. Uh, it's a 17 kilometer race that comes down through this bridge, through that bridge, down through that bridge and finishes just on the other side. So the men's squads have just come through and I've decided to come and take some photographs with my little camera. And it's just decided to piss rain. And I brought my freaking sunglasses thinking that it was going to be lovely and sunny and it's pissing bloody rain. The men's quads came through 17 minutes ago. No sign of any singles whatsoever. There's the race here. From the foot of the bat, the Loch Ness, right down there, into the heart of Portadown. This is him now, and there's a women's double ahead of him. So we've got two international scholars coming up on a women's double. They've got the inside line. Will they cast him before the bridge? Ah, they did. Good job. Ross, how did that race go? You looked a bit shocking. I took a bit of video. I was worried you weren't going to overtake that women's double, but you managed to do it all right. Um, yeah, the season's been going well so far. Uh, that was the season opener. I'm glad to have my, uh, my idol here, Phil Doyle. Yeah. So, lads, you just come down the track there. Nathan Hull, GB's next protege. And this is Ross Corgan, fresh back from the European under 23s with a bronze medal in the men's Cox Sport. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, so. What would how you like to know today? Just how did that go? Was it very difficult? 18k or 17k? Well, it was actually only 14.8. Oh, was it actually? I thought it was 8, 16 no, they, or something. They shortened the course today. And we, uh, we started off quite well. Uh, it was pretty bumpy off the start for the first like 3k. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, it's a, be a very bendy course and there's a few like, I don't know if you call them like faux bends where you think they're F bends. No, but even the ones, there's ones where you think you're going to go right and then you get closer and then you're going left and then you're nearly on the other way. So is this the plan for the season? This is the men's double? Yeah, this is our Queen's senior double. We need to get a new whip. We're getting a new whip. 
next Are you month. fundraising? No. Nope. Oh, it's he's coming? Already, he already has the money. Well, he probably has the money. And he's getting her delivered. And do you think racing will be normal this year? Or do you think it'll be... Personally, no. Uh, I'd say a lot of stuff will be cancelled. And then, um, obviously, like, there'll be a lot of track and trace and stuff like that next half a year. And has training racing. been normal in Queen so far? Or what's, I wouldn't what's... say normal. Uh, no, we have to, like... <laughs> Like take a lot of precautions, sign up for sessions, um, all wearing our masks uh, around the boathouse and just taking like loads of care and caution. But um, we've been getting good training and all the same. So while we're studying, what are the, what are the top what are the top top three markers to kick off for the season? Sub sub six two k. Better than that, probably go for five fifty fives. Right. Um, in the on the erg, uh, we'd like to do win box in the like double six twelve in this bad boy. And what if everyone else in the race does six eleven? So you're happy to come last as long as you do six twelve? Okay. So what about a realistic goal? That's a good point. Realistic goal is just go fast. All right. So five fifty five and go fast. What's the third? Yeah, um, just, like, just, just keep chasing, on stage, you were like up the keep chasing Phil Doyle until I've got him <laughs> in the teeth like, <laughs> got him by the jugular. So it's Sunday morning and we've bombed down to Queen's Rowing Club. So Ross gave me a shout there that one of the boys hurt his back. We were going to go out in singles and doubles but change of plan and we're now down here going out in the boat that I won the British University Championships in. This was where I started my, this is where it all began. What session are we doing? Okay, I asked. Nathan, why are you not going to edit it? Yeah, I asked the same question to Phil and he said, row like flip. <laughs> There's no first. natural flow. Nathan, why are you not doing the session? Uh, I go out in a single. Why? The heart still uh, was too sore on my, uh, my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Just bleep it like <laughs> That man said strongly about 16 times. We have, we beat them in the World Cup and we beat them somewhere else. They don't like, they're not good in bad water. Unbelievable racing by everyone today. Africa picking up her first senior medal, um, the women's four blasting away, Emily and Tara coming fifth, Sunita winning it as per. Um, sent Sunita a little voice message this morning and was like, stop messing about and get this done. Uh, and then Ronan and Dara doing so well in the double, like coming through um, in the last like 1k of the race to pick off that medal. I thought they were going to take it off the Swiss too. But um, it just means that there's going to be there's a lot more pressure on me now to keep the training up um, while I'm working. And uh, some dodgy journalism by RT there on the breakdown. Philip's concentrating on his studies. I wish it was studying. Um, working 70, 76 hours this week um, so gonna have to try and find a bit more training where I can and uh, try and link in with Ross a bit more to get out in the water but yeah me Ben and Jerry are gonna have a, a relaxing evening here and
that's the uh, first vlog I've done in a long time. So yeah, that's the last, the first and last international race of the season and I'll be back, back in no time. A potential camp in November, but it's in Italy and a lot of logistical issues, so stay tuned. All the best.